Hi everyone, it's Radley here with the Energetic Weather Report for August 15th through the 21st. So before we get started, I've got four cards in my hand. These represent the Archangels for the week. So do you feel energetically connected to card number one? <clears throat> card number two? Card number three? or card number four. So I'll let you think about that. <clears throat> so on Sunday, the card we have is Ace of Water. Ace of Water, a beautiful new emotional experience. So sometimes this can be the first blushes of romantic love, and there are certainly elements in this um, week's spread that if that is something you are looking for in your life, that you could absolutely see galloping into the uh, horizon for you. Um, uh, but this can also be like messages, it can be um, new pieces of information, it can be new psychic awarenesses, and it can be a new home. So if any of those kinds of things are on your horizon or on your expectation list specifically, that's great and you should take that into account. Otherwise, the rest of us who may or may not have those very specific things in our lives headed that our way, we should think about it as an emotional experience that has happens on Sunday that's very lovely, very pleasant, and sets the tone for the week. <clears throat> on Monday, and now some of you may remember last week was the week of the air cards. This week is the week of the water cards. And so we have night of water. Now, especially... <laughs> If the whole aspect of romance coming into your life is really something you're focused on, and this card showing up right after the Ace of Water, this card would is definitely can indicate a new romantic relationship. Just keep in mind that it could also throw you. You could be really like... Um, must swept off your feet in a way in which you are not grounded, a way in which things are not balanced and things are not even. So you'll want to like sort of keep that in, in check. Now, if you're not looking for romance and maybe that ace of water, what felt right to you in that part of the reading was this whole element of a new emotional experience. Well, the night of night of water would be, well, this new emotional experience that started on Sunday on Monday just has you absolutely head over heels in love with the experience or the new thing that is bringing into your life. <clears throat> Tuesday, we have a little bit of air energy. We have eight of air. <clears throat> so eight of air is a card that talks about the illusion of entrapment. It's not real. If you can see this lovely lady, she her bonds are falling off of her arms. She's taking off the blindfold. The gate of uh, swords has swung open and she's got the opportunity to go or do whatever she wants. So <clears throat> Monday, Tuesday's emotional experiences might indicate that, oh, wow, I am not trapped. I have other opportunities that could come into my life. Wednesday is a day of peaceful reflection. It is four of air. This is a card that talks about meditation, vacation, relaxation, getting grounded, finding one's inner peace, which is a good thing to do on Wednesday because on Thursday, <laughs> not so much inner peace. We have seven of fire. This is a card that says to stand up for yourself and your beliefs. It's where we feel kind of like challenged by other people. Um, <clears throat> and we kind of like need to like defend ourselves, but only if you, the battle is worth it. You know, it's like if someone's giving you grief and trouble and you're like, it, it just isn't worth it because it's just going to create, it's just going to open a whole can of worms. If I pull out a big old can of whoop ass and go after them, I'm just not going to do it. And besides, I pulled a clarification card on this and it's the wheel. So it changes really rapidly. It's just going to blow over. Just don't, don't let it bug you. And that was the low point of the week. That's all you got here. <clears throat> More water, king of water. So in a relationship situation, if that's what's happening for you this week, you're going to see a deepening of that experience and a sense of, wow, this is really actually kind of real. Um, if it's more of like you are enjoying this emotional experience and this revelation that is coming this week, 
this is where we get really wise about it and we make some, we stand back and try to be a little bit more objective about it. When maybe we leave that night of water energy that had us less like, ah, and instead stand back and go, okay, I still love all of this, but I'm just going to like it a little about it. <clears throat> Saturday, six of air, also a good card. This and now. Um, so we've got a book in here. If you're a person who's looking for a new home or you're moving, um, Sunday, a new home, right? Six of air, relocation. So not necessarily that they happen on those days like boom, but you probably get validation. You probably realize, oh, it is going to happen and I have some timing on it and you know it's all buttoned down and it's gonna happen. If that's not your deal, this is just the card that says ch challenging times that come to an end. So where maybe where we had this whole challenging thing on Thursday by Saturday, out the door. So for the four archangels that we have, the card number one, if you were drawn to that, is the star card, and it has Archangel Jophiel on it. Archangel Jophiel is the archangel of, of uh, positive things thoughts of joy, of happiness, of beauty. Uh, she helps to beautify our thoughts. So if you're like having difficulty, and if you're just being a real negative Nelly <laughs> right now, Jophiel can help you get out of that. The next card, number two, is the Empress card with Archangel Gabriel, one of my absolute favorite archangels. She's the Archangel of Creativity and Communication. Um, childbirth as well, uh, and, and also motivation. So if you've got a project and you're having trouble getting going on it, she's your girl. <clears throat> um, another great card, uh, we have Archangel Raziel. Uh, he, Raziel showed up last week on a different card, but this is the magician. So the ability to do anything. So Raziel really can help bring magic into our lives. And finally, <laughs> if this relationship reading really resonated with you, if this reading as a relationship reading resonated with you, last card is the lover's card with Archangel Raphael. Now, Raphael is most often thought of as the Archangel who brings health and healing to us, but he is also a matchmaker, all right? A matchmaker. So there you have it, the four Archangels and the energetic weather report for August 15th through the 21st. It looks like a really good week, just a couple of little things to be aware of so that it doesn't turn into a situation where your smile turns upside down into a frown. Rather, we have Archangel Jophiel to do just the opposite. Enjoy your week.